My, my first experience coming to the UK was that there were so many factories. Yeah. When, when I arrived at New Haven, I, I said to my mate, boy, there are a lot of factories. And why I said that there was a lot of factories? In Jamaica, the only place with a chimney is a factory. So when I seen all the houses <laughs> with these chimney, I thought they were factories. So one gentleman, I think it was, I think his name was uh, Larry Constantine. He, he was the, the guy who was representing West Indians coming to Brittany. He said, no, they're not factories, they're houses. And I said, you want to tell me that we had to sleep with fire in your house? And he said, yes, but I said, that's dangerous. <laughs> the reception was very cold. The, 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 men, the men were very unfriendly. The men were very, very unfriendly. And I came right in hell because Shepherd Bush, that time, when you go out, you don't know if you're coming back <laughs> because you either get beaten up, have abuse shouted at you, or beaten up by police or things like that. It, it, was, it was a rough time. Shepherd Bush was really rough. Or if you go out and look for a job and you say to anyone where you're from, they ask you where you're from and you say Shepherd Bush. There's no chance you going to, they're going to give you a job. No way. Well, when I came to Britain in 1960, I couldn't, it was very hard. Because the first, I came on the 27th, 27th of September. 1960. That was a Thursday. Sunday, I wake up, have a bath, get dressed, taking my Bible and was going through the door. And my, my mate said to me, where are you going? And I said, I'm going to church. He said, no, mate, you ain't going out there. And I said, yes, I'm going to church. And he barred the door. And I said, why, why can't I go to church? He said, well, you're not going to the white man church because I ain't want no problem today. And I said, what problem? He said, I know you. If you go to church and they tell you, you, you can't come, come in there. You're going to start <laughs> a wrong point. I said, I don't want none of that. So after I bought the door, I take my clothes off. I went to my friend, my namesake, and asked him, why is it that we can't go to church? He said, well, the white man don't want you to church. And I said, why? I said, we were, we were brought up to be British. We were brought up as a Christian family. We have Presbyterian, we have Anglican, we have Roman Catholic, we have everybody in our country. So why can't we go to their church? And he said, no, oh, Asta, you just can't go. Four years later, I find out that wasn't really true in all cases. But however, people change. So most of our people start to have our own church, we started our own church. And I was one of those young men who get out on the street and proclaim Christ. And to my surprise, I found out that there was so much division among the faith in England that it was really shocking because the Catholic didn't go to the Baptist, the Baptist didn't go to Catholic, the Catholic didn't go to the Anglican, and it was really rough. So one day I was on the street giving out tracts, and I saw this guy, and I said to him, we would like to have a track? And he said, no, we don't take anything from any other faith. So I push it in his jacket pocket. <laughs> My minister said, do you know what you're doing? He could kill you for that. <laughs> but afterward, we become good friends. Afterward, we become good friends. Well, I started a Sunday school in Shepherd's Bush. 
and uh, I was very fortunate because I had two church vans running, running on a Sunday. And what I did, I went out. These guys, they used to take people to work during the week. So on Sunday, they were at home, not doing anything. So I asked them if they would pick up my Sunday school children. So they did. So I have a Sunday school of about 116 kids. And I have an average attendance of 85 each week. So each, each week I have average attendance of 85. So it was really, it was really good. And I take them football, cricket. And I, I was very lucky because Linford Christie was one of those boys. Turned out very well. A lot of them today are teachers. And they've done very, very well. <laughs>